thing, you know, we're more disruptive. I think it's the first thing that you see more tackles in the backfield, um, more sacks, more quarterback hits, which in turn has led to more takeaways on defense. And I think that was the biggest disappointment maybe. You know, we went into the year and, and everybody talked about the returners on the defensive front, and, and those guys have gotten better too as the year's gone on. But we weren't able to just four man rush to, to create the disruption we needed. And I think Coach Huxtable deserves some credit. Um, you know, tweaked some things in the, in the pressure schemes and the stunt schemes to help the D line and add a fifth or sixth guy occasionally and, and has created an opportunity for those guys, I think, to be a better four man rush group when we need them to be. And we've also had some young players get better uh, on the defense. You know, I think BJ Hill has gotten better. Farrell McKeever has gotten better as the year has gone on. Uh, Justin Jones, who rotates, has gotten better in the defensive tackle rotation. Um, our older players started to play like we knew they were capable as the year went on. And, you know, at linebacker, we've uh, added some depth when Arius was able to start playing with Jared. I think that helped Jared to have competition and a rotation and not have to play potentially 90 snaps in a game. Um, We've been able to rotate other positions throughout the year, and I think you know the rotation with Niles and, and Mike Stevens has helped Jack and, and Justin at corner as well. You know, just getting more guys in the game and uh, creating more disruption and, and uh, opportunities for big plays on defense, and, and those guys have thrived on it. And hopefully, we can continue that trend because I think that's more where Coach Huxtable is comfortable uh, being able to mix it up like he did.